Hi there everybody, Adam Giles here from Mirror World News. Today I have an interview for you with Nate Friedman. He is the author of The Coffee Monster, which is a book that has been published by Mirror World Publishing. I was able to catch up with him at the local author and artists festival here in Windsor at the end of September, and I was able to go in with a quick interview with him. So without further ado, here is that interview. Hi there everybody, this is Adam Giles from Mirror World News and I'm here with Nate Friedman, the author of The Coffee Monster. So first of all, I just have to ask, what do you do besides being an author? Like what's your day job, if you have one? Uh, so day job, I'm actually a manager at a cell phone kiosk. Uh, so my main focus is just developing people uh, and training them to kind of be their best at whatever they do. Yeah. That's my passion. Do you get a lot of time to write? Do you have, find that you get a lot more time, spare time with that job? Or? Yeah, I think it's, it's just a matter of making the time to do it. So it's, you have to commit and really want to. So sometimes it's getting up early in the morning. Sometimes it's later at night. But if it's something that you're passionate about, that you have to find time to do it. So I have to ask, because we, we've had this question before. What is the hardest part of actually being an author or to get to be an author? What's the hardest part? I think if you kind of divide it into two parts, there's the writing and the creative aspect that's amazing, that's, that's like your bread and butter, that's what you want to do. But there's a second harder part, which is getting your work out there. So it's all the lead up and the afterwards. So it takes that, that extra little kick so you have to get your, your art and your creativity and everything that you do out into the world. So that's the, the challenging part and it's great to have things like this where you can get out there really good. So what do you use to get those creative juices flowing? Like, What, what do you do? Uh, I think specifically it's just kind of writing uh, out ideas as they come up. So I think that, like throughout a day you can, if you think that's funny or like you get a concept that jumps out at you, that you have to write it down to retain it. So I think it's just kind of collecting all those thoughts and ideas, and then it comes time to, to write it out, and that's the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> so that's easy for you? Writing it out is easy for you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. If you sit down and you, you kind of reflect back, then it's, yeah, I think that's the easiest part. I think the ideas kind of over time create themselves, and it becomes a part of you, and then it's just a matter of getting it out on the paper. We're done. Now, I do have a, you have a book here, it's published by Mirror World Publishing, it's called The Coffee Monster. And can you just give us a real brief outview, overview, sorry, real brief overview <laughs> of what inspired you to actually write this? Uh, so the idea kind of came about, uh, especially growing up in Windsor, Ontario, I think coffee is kind of central uh, to being Canadian yeah. or everyone kind of gets their morning coffee. So it kind of, I think it all started as a, a joke that uh, my mom would get too much coffee and then you had like, you basically had to have your extra coffee, your security blanket and then uh, the character Coffee Monster was born and we kind of like I wrote on the back of the book that there's a coffee monster in everybody <laughs> so I think even if it's not coffee and it's it's anything that you do that you kind of do in excess so I thought it was a cool concept to kind of uh, to write about and that it applies to everything right on now this is a kids book here have you ever written kids books before or did you think you would be a kids book author no, it's uh, my the biggest thing that I like doing is uh, comedy. I like watching a lot of comedy, so really quick-witted like concepts. So I think the writing for kids was an extension of that. So you have an idea that's basically just a quick little joke that you can then turn into a lesson, and I think that all ages can enjoy it, even though it's a it's a kids book. Right on. Now we are going to be showing some images uh, with the rest of this video that have Coffee Monster on it. But I want to actually have you read, if you would, the yeah. first uh, paragraph or two yeah. of Coffee Monster. And then we'll uh, put some images over it so that the <laughs> viewers can get a close-up image of it while you read it. But I want to have it read by the author of the book. Yeah, for sure. I'm just going to warm up my voice here. I'm sure. <laughs> So there once lived a normal family in a pleasant little town. There were mom, dad, and two cute little children. James, the older brother, was nine years old, and Jenna, his little sister, was only five. James and Jenna got along very well, despite their age difference. James was very active and loved to play sports. Jenna was quieter than most girls her age and extremely intelligent. 
They were a happy family with not a care in the world. There was, however, one very special thing about this family. They had no cats, no dogs, no pets of any kind. What they did have was a coffee monster. He had been part of their family for as long as anyone could remember. He wasn't particularly scary, nor did he attempt to do anything bad to anyone, unless he didn't get his coffee. The coffee monster had to be fed. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much. Now, uh, any of these can be, again, you can find his books on the Mirror World publishing site. Again, Nate, thank you so much for coming out today for this quick interview. And we are looking forward to reading more of it or having you guys read it too. Thank you, Nate, so much for reading Coffee Monster for us. If anybody wants to pick up that book, you can find it at the Mirror World Publishing website, which are in the links down below. And then please do make sure to subscribe to this channel. We are going to be bringing you more information about how to write, advice for new and aspiring authors, and different things to do to get you ready to have your books published. Well, thank you very much from Mirror World News. My name is Adam. Have a great day.